Welcome to our second lesson on human reproductive system. Welcome. This is a continuation of what we had learned earlier on in female reproductive system. This time, our objectives will be the learners should be able to name the parts of the male reproductive parts. The learners should also be able to state the function of each part of the male reproductive parts. We shall begin by identifying the parts of the male reproductive system. I'm going to use my teaching aid here to help the learners identify each of these parts. I will begin with the two parts here which protrude outside the body. Below here, we have the scrotum. The scrotum encrosses this part here that we call the testes. Testes are two. Behind the testes attached to it is the epididymis. And from the epididymis there is this tube here that we call the sperm duct. All the way through, next to where we have this organ which is stores urine, we call it the bladder. And it receives urine from the kidneys through this pipe that we call ureter. There is also this other part here that we call the lectum, where undigested food is stored before it leaves the body through the anus. Before I continue, I want to state this, that the bladder, ureter, and the lectum, they are not part of the male reproductive system. They are only organs which are located next to the main parts of the male reproductive organs. Now, from the sperm duct, we have these two coils that attaches to each sperm duct because every testis have got its own sperm duct. And this, these coils are called seminal viscous. Below the seminal viscous, we've got this organ here that we call the prostate gland, and below it, we have the corpus glands just before the sperm leaves the sperm duct to join this tube here that we call urethra. Urethra is inside the erectile tissue. The erectile tissue helps the penis to become elect in readiness to penetrate into the vagina. And now this is the penis. Those are the main parts of the male reproductive system. This time I want us to look at the function of the each part of these reproductive parts. Now we'll be here, I have my diagram again, so that as we mention each of these parts, the learner should be able to identify the position of each. I will begin with the testes. Then I'll look at the epididymis. From there, I will look at the scrotum. Then I will go to the sperm duct, the penis, and the urethra. Those six parts are the ones that I want to concentrate on because they are the main parts of the male reproductive system. Now let us look at each one of them and its function. We shall begin with the testes. They are two oval-shaped organs which hangs outside the body and they are located in between the legs. Their function is to produce the male sex cell which we call the sperms. From there we shall look at this layer here which encrosses the testes. It is called the scrotum. Its work is to protect the testes. Then from there we have this part which is attached to the testes that we call epididymis. Now epididymis is found next to the testes and its function is to store sperms when they are produced by the testes. Attached to the epididymis we have the sperm duct. This one is a tube which sperms passes to the penis from the testes. The sperms will pass through here. Below here, 
we have this joint leaving the, uh, the sperm duct and entering the urethra. This one here is a tube passing through the center of the penis through which the sperms and urine passes out. Let us look at the penis. This one is used to introduce or to put sperms into the vagina during sexual intercourse. We have the erectile tissues, as I've said, they help the penis to become erect in readiness to penetrate into the vagina. Those are the main parts of the male reproductive system. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to continue getting more and more lessons. Thank you very much.